Hello to everyone, guys. So today, this video is about blanket orders. Um, so for this, um, I'm just telling you the 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 Odoo version I'm using for this video is Odoo 17, and for customization and development, we are using Odoo Studio. So let's talk about what is up. So this is for the idea because um, even lots of people have just asked me what is a blanket order. So very less people just know about what is a blanket order and how we can create, how uh, we just work through it. So that's the reason I'm just creating this video. So basically a blanket order, also known as a blanket purchase order, is a type of purchase order the customer makes with its supplier. And it's an agreement where multiple deliveries are made over a period of time. But the specific details like the exact quantities and delivery dates are not specified until the day uh, orders are released. So the purpose, they help streamline the procurement process, reduce paperwork, ensure consistent supply, negotiate better terms, and manage inventory more efficiently. Uh, what is the advantage of a blanket order? So basically, advantage is this, that we create uh, some sort of agreement where we add um, order lines, we add a supply, and we just save it. So whenever we just we, 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 we want to create RFQs, we can just create new quotation and we just do like that. It's very simple. So it saves time. So not all the time we need to create lines, add lines, this and that. So with this one, already agreements are there. So we can just start doing quotations from there. So how it is working, first of all, you go in apps and you just need to install Purchase, Purchase app. Let's click on Activate and this app will be installed after that. So let me just install this app and then well, I will um, start the video again. So it has been installed. Uh, so let me again tell you that using, using blanket orders are useful when products are always purchased from the same vendor, but in different quantities at different times. Uh, by simplifying the ordering process, blanket orders not only save time, they also save money. So let's rock and roll. Let me just show you how we can create. So after installing Purchase app, you can go in Settings. After going in settings, you can see there is purchase tab there. I just click purchase there. And then you can see purchase agreements. So what you need to do, just click here. And you just need to click save. Once you do that, your purchase agreements will be activated. If you Go in settings again. Let me just show you some subheadings also there. Just under the, it will just take maybe two three minutes to activate the purchase agreements, which are also known as blanket orders. If you go in general settings, go in purchase, and you can see um, it's written there. Manage your purchase agreements. Call for tenders. Blanket orders. So once you activate this, you can go and click purchase. And when you will click purchase there, you can click on orders and you can see blanket orders there. So this is how you can create blanket orders. I mean, how you can activate blanket orders. And this is the process now I'm going to tell you how to create blanket orders. You can just click on blanket orders. And at the moment, by default, already it, one order is already there. So we are going to create a new one, click new. and then you can see purchase agreement, uh, purchase representative. So yeah, it's fine. Mitchell admin is there. Agreement type. So here, blanket order is there. So what you can, you can click here this arrow, and it will take you to the internal link. And here, the important things is this one: the lines. Use lines of agreement. Do not create RFQ lines automatically. So we just click here, use lines of agreement. So we want to use the, these lines and whenever we are going to create 
request for quotation, we also want to carry over those lines there. And then you can see quantities. So here, there are two options there. One is use quantities of agreement and second, set quantities manually. So what I do, let me just use quantities of agreement. So I also want to use the same quantities when uh, also to be carry over in RFQ, which is purchase orders. And then let's save these ones and then go back in the blanket orders. So here again, you go uh, Mitchell Edwin and let me just go this. Let me just check. Send quantity. Yes, that's fine. And then we need to click on supplier. Just choose the supplier. Let me just randomly uh, choose Anita Oliver. And here we can create the lines here. So let me just choose the first one, which is large cabinet. Um, no description. Okay. Choose the quantities. I say two. And uh, ordered quantities. It, it's a, a computed field, which will be computed later. And let's click schedule date as well. So we can choose the schedule dates. We say that we want to receive these, uh, this item on 28th of Feb, Feb. And unit price for this is 12. Okay, let's, let's add another line. And this one is storage box. Quantity we need for this is 10. And schedule date, we are saying March. So next month in March. And unit price for this is 15. Let's create another so pedal pin and we say 20 and schedule date for this is April 24 and unit price is 20. So if you see schedule date for first product is 2, 3, 4, second is March, third is April, uh, different unit prices and different quantities. As you see that in blanket order, um, in blanket order specifications, I have just specified that use ordered quantities from here and this is the data as well so let's see what will happen uh, we are going to cre save this blanket order and if we we can also confirm this blanket order so this blanket order has been confirmed and you can see the state has been changed from draft to confirmed and now we can create quotation from here this is already so if you go in blanket orders so you can see the second blanket order which is confirmed and if we click here, that will be saved. So from here we can, so this agreement is already saved there. In Odoo, in blanket orders, this agreement is already saved. So from this agreement, whenever we want, we can just need to click this button and that will create our quotation. So that this is how simple it is. This is how a blanket order is working and this is why we are using blanket orders. Um, th this, is, this process is really saving lots of time and this is especially for that purpose, when we are ordering the same kind of products from the same supplier. So why to uh, order it again and again and just filling all this time unnecessary? So that's why these blanket order orders are there uh, for us to use this facility uh, in Odoo. So let's suppose this is a blanket order and now I'm going to create a quotation from here. So I click just this button and that will create a blanket order. So if you see, that in this blanket order, because I have ex I have um, just said in the blanket order, I set that use quantities from the order. So that is the same quantity. The first product two, second is 10, third is 20. And also the unit price is also. First one was 12, 15, and 20. So if you see here, if you go in blanket order, sorry, the first one, so here you can see the 2, 10, 20, 12, 15, 20. It's exactly the same when we are creating the quotation. Same quantity, same uh, unit price. Okay, let's check what is the expected arrival. So this is where it's, it's not taking exactly the same expected arrival it's taking. The first date of the line, and it's also using the first date of line into the second one and the third one. If you remember, in blanket order, the first one was 
in February, third one was in March, third and third one was in ap April. In let me just show you in blanket order. If you look at this, the first scheduled date was in February, large cabinet. Second was in March, and third was in pedal pin. But if we create a new quotation, you can see here it's February here for the first product and for the second as well. Rather than giving March date, which we set it in blanket order, and rather than giving the April date, it's not giving us that date here. So, this is actually the Odoo flow. And what we are going to do first, I have explained you what a blanket order is. Then I show you why we are using blanket order. Then I have already explained that why we create blanket orders, then how we can create. Um, blanket orders, how we activate, first of all, purchase agreements in Odoo 17, then how we can create blanket orders, and then how we can, how we can create RFQ, uh, request for quotation, and then create purchase order by clicking here and or confirm order, then this purchase order will be confirmed. So now, uh, this, is, this is the end of first, uh, this video, and this is the first part of ongoing uh, two-part uh, video. In my next video, I will exp I will do customization. So what we will do, we will just carry over the expected arrival or the technical name of this field is. Let me just check if we activate the developer mode. So technical name for this field is date planned. So we will update this date planned in purchase order lines from blanket orders. So if we go back in our blanket orders, so as you can see in blanket order, the technical, na uh, technical f name of the f this field, schedule date is schedule date. So we will carry over exactly the same, same date from first line, exactly the same date from second line, exactly the same date from the third line to all the lines whenever we will create quotation from here. So here, as you can see, it's this is not the flow and we are going to change this flow. So please subscribe this channel, uh, like this video and share it with your friends as well. So we are going to implement this feature in our next video. Thank you so much. Cheers.